Hey, what's going on this morning? What a beautiful day it is. Uh, Mid-June, and we're here at the uh, at the St. John's uh, ATV facility, parking lot. And back over there, you'll see the uh, storage shed and everything. Uh, what I'm up to today is I'm going to take something different. Uh, some of you already know that uh, made a major change. That's what I'm talking about. I, 2022 Kawasaki T-Rex S. I'm going to do a quick run today. Try and break it in a wee tiny bit. And what I hope to do today is just put a few kilometers on it at half throttle. I'm just going to turn it on here and uh, have a look. See what this is all about. There you can see right down here in the lower right hand corner, zero kilometers. So I did put a winch on it. There's a winch down there, it's a 4,000 pound winch. That should get me out of trouble if I need, need it. I put uh, a windshield on it, the windshield breaks in the center so it allows some ventilation in there. Uh, put a set of mirrors, one on the left side, one over here on the right side, and also there's one up in the center. And on the back side, I put a, a windshield back here as well. Um, I made a bracket to put the license plate on it and the, uh, the Sussex Valley little uh, license plate. And of course, on the back window, I got my uh, skull and crossbones and uh, Jolly Rogers. <laughs> Another thing I did, just to help try and keep some of the mud off the, uh, off the body and in the cab, I got some... This is just this is lawn edging. So I cut a piece along, put it on here. That's just inside the, uh, the front fender. And it attaches with these, with these four bolts down here. I just loosened the bolts and slid that in between the panels. And uh, hopefully that'll work. And I plan to do the same thing with the back. I can't wait to get at it, so let's get going. Okay, it's in high, brakes off, let's go. Okay. Well, I've got the first couple of kilometers on, and uh, I know already that the ride is a whole lot smoother than the Honda 500. The Pioneer 500. Uh, it is a little louder inside. And there's no real amount of heat yet from the engine, uh, but it's going to be a really warm day today, and I expect to get a bit more heat from that. Uh, so far, I feel pretty good. Well, we stopped here at the entrance into the Bryan Farm Road right here. And we stopped for a little break and uh, my goodness, what a mess up here. Uh, beer cans everywhere. And there's Heinz's over there picking them up and uh, cleaning up the area a wee bit. Jeez, guys, why don't you take your cans home with you? So we stopped here at the Germain Brook to shelter for a wee rest, had a nice cold drink of water and uh, ready to hit the road again. Here we're on the pipeline heading towards Porter Road. We're going to go down Porter Road and cross St. Martin's Highway and head on up to Saddleback. Uh, we came back a different way than we went in to Saddleback. Uh, when we came back from Saddleback, 
when we reached the Porter Road, we, uh, we turned left there and went up through the Talon Plot Road, then on to Patterson Siding, and then on to the Upper Quaco. And uh, that just continues right on through to uh, the parking lot. So we did a big circle, and uh, we only covered a little bit of ground twice. So uh, we had a pretty good time. So we're almost finished the run for the day. All in all, I feel pretty good about this thing. I stopped a while ago and opened this window up. I'm sure let some air in. And it cools things down pretty good in here. One thing I don't like it though, is this bar going across the center here. It's straight dead center of my line of eyesight. As we roll along here, I just have to say, after the first 60 kilometers, I'm really quite satisfied with the machine here. Yes, it is a little louder, and there's a bit more heat coming off the engine. That's two things that I really uh, think I can put up with. The smooth ride and all kinds of storage space. All these tiny little cubby holes. Room for everything. Those are the kinds of things I was really looking forward to. So, after a short run, my overall impression is only after 60 kilometers or so, I think I've got a winner. I put it through all the basic steps I wanted to do today. Tried the four wheel drive out, uh, high and low range. Uh, I locked up the front uh, differential going up a couple of hills. Uh, not that I needed to, I just wanted to try it out and make sure it worked all right. And uh, that's all just excellent. My old buddy Hines, well, he's still right behind me. I asked him to come along uh, just in case something went wrong with this thing. After all, it is new. And sometimes things just happen. Uh, not nice things either. So, thanks, Heinz, for coming along with me, buddy. So, anyway, folks, thanks very much for clicking on the video and riding along with me today. I sure hope you enjoyed it as much as I did for my first run. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be putting out videos as we finish the break-in period. So, once again, thank you for watching my video. And please subscribe if you uh, like what I'm doing here with my videos. Have a great day, guys and gals.